Hey guys, welcome to our Friday release of the new JRV stencils and uh, decoupage paper. We have 14 new stencils. Is it five new sheets? Five new sheets. Five new sheets. For the holidays. For the holidays of the JRV rice paper coming out. We're going to be showing you all of the new products on this live video. Some of them will be thrift flips, like home decor thrift flips, and then some of them I might just stencil on paper if we run out because we have 14 stencils. And that's a lot. I mean, we'll be doing good if we can get through all of it in an hour-ish. Because <laughs> Jamie's Jamie's got a uh, retail therapy appointment with uh, Cooper's mom. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, my birthday happened this month, so it's still my birthday month. And we just were busy. And so this is when we could fit it in. So I'm excited to get that done. I do have, I don't know if you guys know, but we reordered. We had these in the sale collection. We reordered these half aprons as well as these towels. So that way you guys could use them for Christmas projects. We had to reorder a bunch. So hopefully you guys are excited about the reorder. Um, they're still on sale, really great price. So that way you can use it with your new stencils. So if you're picking up stencils and you wanna do projects, make sure you go to the sale collection and pick up some of these towels and aprons. All right, let's get to showing some paper oh, real quick. Cause that's four easy. Four decoupage papers, one cardstock. Correct. Caitlin all right, is let's, right. Let's go. She's here to keep us straight because she's the one that gets to answer all these questions when we say things wrong. True story. <laughs> if you guys are on Facebook, please hit that share button so we can let as many people know as possible. And just so you know, our retailers have been ordering. Not all of them have ordered. So check with your local retailer. See if they have it in stock. If they don't, then you can just order at jamierayvintage.com. Okay. We're going to get started. This actually, this paper has been out since August this particular one, but I'm showing it again because people now that we're in the fall season are thinking more like it, fall is actually It's kind hit. of blurry, so. Okay, let me it, focus it here. I cover my face, there you go. And so they've been flying off the shelf and out the door. So just wanted to show you guys this one. It's just a nice black and white. I still have yet to experiment with doing watercolors or tea stain on this, but I'm gonna try it here in the next little bit. I'm not ready to do it today, but Maybe we're gonna play with this. Pencils. Yeah, I think colored pencils would be awesome. And I have uh, watercolor pencils that I yeah, think would also be fun. All, All right, right, let's start with the new For the new paper. stuff. This is the new paper. Now, these are designed to be cut down and actually fit in a uh, eight by 10 frame. They are on, this particular design is on the rice paper, but with like our other fine art prints that we have, we didn't worry about the border on this because um, I, I think people are gonna use this in multiple applications and maybe even like, I think this would be fun uh, decoupaged on like a, a box for your Christmas tree or, you know, various different things. Pam says the volume is low. We are mic'd up, so you oh, check let me on make sure. End. Make sure it's not, let make, me sure, make it's sure it's picking up through. Make sure the volume is good, we're not muted. You know, it's been a whirlwind of a morning already, and it's an unscheduled live, so I'm oh, off Caitlin my Oh, Caitlin says our mics are on. All right, Pam, All maybe right. try on your end to just pump up that volume on your device. That should help. Okay, next, we, we have these birds on the holly branch, and this has, like, old, like, notebook ephemera. Oh, it's kind of still blurry. I'll just focus it every time. Sorry. I'll bring it close. And cover, there we go. Cover, cover my face. face. Um, so these are designed, so they're inverted. So you could put these on the end of something. You could do like a wreath or something in the middle, uh, some art. These are perfect for a five by seven. Um, they're, that's what they're kind of designed for is to fit in a five by seven. If you've got some smaller you frames that, that you've bit. thrifted and, uh, you know, that's, that's the idea behind these. Same with these ones. There are a couple of elements and this is on the rice paper. So you can decoupage this if you want. Um, but you can also put these little guys. I think these are about the right size if you had little wood block to cut them out and do ornaments with these. The nice thing about these rice papers is the price point is like a, I, I feel like an economical price point and you can buy exactly what you want. So if you have a lot of projects coming up, you can pick and choose which sheets work well with your projects and get them done for a reasonable price. If you guys remember our Santa cards paper that we have on the big 20 by 30 sheets, we actually, I've been waiting for that. I reordered that a month ago and- It should be delivered this week. It should, yeah, it should be here this week. So we have that paper still, but this was one of the small elements on there. And now it's a big element designed to be in an eight by 10 frame or, you know, you can decoupage it on anything. 
Everybody loves a big Santa face. It's like a really, it's one of the larger Santa faces I've seen. I actually think that would be darling um, on like a piece of thinner wood cut out the same shape as his face and then just like put a hanger on it and then hang it on the wall. All right, where did I go with my, hold please. I have, I'm missing one of my things. Oh, the tags? Yeah, I don't know where I set them. I had them, I was running around. Okay, I'll be right back. I haven't seen him. Zeb's gonna be back with the tags. They're probably. I upstairs. will go grab real quickly. I'm sorry, there's gonna be nobody on camera for a second. I'm gonna go grab. I'll wait until if she's people back. haven't seen it. Where's my box? Oh. It's right here behind you. Oh, okay. So I'll grab this to show you guys this step. The Santa's good, right, Kelly? If you guys watched yesterday's video, then you've already seen this, or if you follow us on social media. So this is the folk art panel but we did it a little bit different we wound up doing this this week on our channel member live that's our paid group so that the, all the details are in that particular group but we used the folk art panel you can see we've already used it here and what zeb did is he centered the middle design here and then he cut it basically in half and then did half here half here and then he stretched out the border so that way it fits the piece. So don't think when you buy these, you're limited to the design as it comes. That's the great thing about stencils is you really can stretch them to fit, especially these folk art yeah, ones. I just because started up here to... and it was wide enough to fit. And then I just ran it down. Yep. And then we centered it and then kind of mirrored it on each side. So now this fits. And then he went around the edge of this chest as well. So I'm, I think this is going to be as popular as the French wall panel. That's one of my favorite stencils that we've come out with yeah, probably this it's year. So good. It's a nice size. I made it to fit like one panel of a cabinet. Like this would fit in a cabinet door. I don't know if you guys can see down here, but that's this would totally fit in an average size cabinet door. So if you've got like a TV cabinet or whatever, all right, Zeb's got the papers. Okay, I have this. So these are, you could decoupage these, but you're going to have to work a little harder. They are on cardstock. It's not on the rice paper. Um, and I did that because I wanted these to be like cards. So you can cut these out. You can frame them, do what you want with them. But the design and idea is that you cut these tags out. And uh, honestly, I don't know that I would be sending these out to everybody, but we might do a few tags um, just to look like really cute around the tree on like some don't tell anyone, but Jamie likes to wrap empty boxes and set them under her tree before we actually get Christmas presents so that the tree looks good. <laughs> I mean, who would do that? Well, typically we do Christmas in the family room. So our actual presents go under the bigger kids tree in the family room because that's where the big couch is. So the tree out here is just for looksies anyways. Okay. We're going to get to doing stuff. I've got this little gold... Uh, I think well, we got to start showing the stencils off. What are you doing? I think it's brass. Oh, we light. haven't showed the stencils. We showed your papers, but I got 14 stencils. Well, it's hard to here. show these stencils in the plastic. Let me get them out of the plastic. Well, I'm going to start stenciling. Is this all of them? Yes. Or you have some so over there. I have the Itali uh, Italian Italian uh, labels mini pack. People have been asking for Italian. We do French. We have the American grain sack. So cue the italian labels they're a mini pack which is one of our most popular things they fit perfectly um on small projects like this little towel you could make ornaments with them you can even make postcards you want to show them the up close and personal where's the plastic yeah, I have show this. them that so let me see if designs. we can get this to zoom on this tiny little thing here there okay. you go so that's it's got these six elements in there which is pretty awesome that you get, it's a little pack and you get six stencils that you can, I mean, these labels, these little labels are probably one of our best sellers and any, anything we do in this size, people love it. Well, I think it's great because you get so many for the price and you can do them on like thrift flips because they're a really good see, size for thrift flipping. You see that? We're going to stencil them, so I'm not going to show them too close. It's so hard to show these stencils. Oh, so Shanta says her dogs will not, her dog will not leave the presents alone, so she wraps empty boxes too. Oh, this is a little black dress. Do we have weathered wood somewhere? Um, let me check. So the nice thing about these stencils is they're, they're industrial grade. You could use these for cement stencils if you needed to, like out on your walk um they're super thick and very durable and they hold the detail really well they're also really good for raised stencils 
we're going to use all the stencils. So if you stick around with us, you'll see them all. If you go to jamierayvintage.com, we have a whole collection for them. And you can see the like the negative images of the stencils. So you can see all the detail that's in them. But I'm going to get the stenciling um, on these towels. So when you're stenciling fabric, you want to go a little juicier than you would like on. So I got you that so you don't have to put it on the dirty drop cloth. Oh, I thought it was the stencil. You know what I do need? I need painter's tape. You're going to stencil all of these, like, individually? What? Just, I'm just going to do one. Oh, okay. They'll get the idea. All right. But I realized that I need to put painter's tape around those because this has, like, a thin border. And I don't want to get extra paint on my... Okay, Jamie's going to start a project here. I'm going to keep showing you stuff. Okay. So are these new, or did you just... Did you redo these? Those are two-inch letters. They're new. Okay, so two inch letters. They're, they're perfect for the holidays for making like customized things. These are letters and numbers. Want. So it's got the whole alphabet and then all the numbers. This is uh, this little pack here, it's 1995. Um, same thickness as the bigger stencils. When you are doing projects, do not be uh, fooled by stencils that look cute but are not good quality these mylar stencils are not your craft store stencil they are super thick they're made to use over and over and over again so that way the value is there because nothing's more annoying than falling in love with a stencil using it once and then it gets bent or ripped or torn and you can't use it again all right these ones are postcard size and so you've got these four elements you've got the postcard let me see if we can let's see how close definitely we can get. We would make a we would have a bigger profit margin if we would do like thinner stencils in the mylar, but I won't do that. No, we like to we, I don't we use, use things thin... up and use them a lot, and so we want you guys to be able to. I don't want thin stencils, so I ain't selling thin stencils. So it looks like you got Santa peeking out the door, kid carrying a Christmas tree or a wreath or something there. Are you showing the postcards? Yeah. They're so cute. And so then each... this is the postcard element, which is really good. Yeah, each postcard set comes with three different fronts and one back. Santa on an old school motorcycle. So you can make actual postcards with those, but you could also make ornaments or use the elements for a myriad of things. You guys, these are going to be awesome. These are like farm animals, but they're all Christmas stuff with uh, wreaths and um, little uh, like beanies with the balls on them. What do you call those? Caps. Santa hats. Santa hats. Anyway, th these are going to be fun. This is the actual size, about the size of my hand. But that's probably the best view of them before we stencil them. We're going we're gonna to get to them. We're going to hurry along and get what we can. Yeah, done. we're going to show you all the things, and then we're going to use some of the things. This is another postcard one. So if you're real into, like, paper crafting um, and, and doing all the ephemera and layering and things, these postcard ones are really good because you can, I mean, you, you switch your color palette up and do all the colorations, get a little stencil brush and, and uh, go wild with that and detail them up and they'll be really awesome. It's funny because Zeb does the papers primarily and then I work on the designs for the stencils. It's just kind of how it's worked out. So some of it's surprising to him too. It's like, I'm like, oh, look at that. That's So I wrote the names on all of them too. So that is the folk Christmas stencil. Yeah. I'm so excited about this one. This one's really good. This is the actual layout of the stencil. So if you just wanted to stencil it, but you also have all of these elements. Uh, and we have, you can leave it in a full sheet. We've been known to cut our stencils apart. Just if you're going to do that, be aware that if you cut through the stencil lines and things, you might be losing some strength. Yeah, it's more, it's stronger when it's together. What I suggest if you just want to use a simple element and not the whole thing is to use painter's tape, cover the elements you don't want to use and leave it in the single sheet. It keeps it organized and that will look so cute. Just stenciled, like you don't have to work, do a layout if you don't want to. You can just stencil it that way. Those like, deer, though, those are the winners. Like, how cute would this be on those IKEA? Show them the one with our um, the one the pillow we did over there. I think IKEA still makes that size in a neutral pillowcase right there in front of you. This one? Yeah, that's a fall. We still have this stencil, but imagine this Christmas stencil, which is the same size on this pillow. So it's how a little dirty. The be? dogs have been loving on it, but we. We made this uh, from a from a pillow sham and a stencil. Yeah. 
So if you want to create the same thing, you could do that with this folk stencil and it's really simple. Okay, <clears throat> so if you are doing fabric, you wanna go a little bit juicier than you would on like wood surfaces and let it sit for 24 hours, then take your iron, heat set it on the appropriate setting for your fabric. And then if you can wait at least a week to wash it, a month is even better, that DIY paint will cure and it will fade over time but it will stay on there. So, so there this is. is one that I'm really excited about. This kinda. is from the Italian mini pack. Oh, here, let me show them close. Show them that one. This one, these ones have a ton of detail. Like that's a lot of detail for a little teeny tiny stencil. Look how cute that is. It's gonna look really good once you iron that and yep. it sets. It's okay, still I'm wet. Let, yeah, I'm gonna let that dry. Okay, so these, this is a big sheet. Um, and they're spaced out. You could use this in a repeating pattern, almost like a wallpaper, but there are nine different elements um, for like your folk art, Scandinavian. Watch for us using these particular elements on things like clocks, um, chests, uh, totes, wood totes, all kinds of stuff like that, because these are just really fun to, I mean, you could take this and just run it all across along a border of like trim or something if you wanted to. Lisa, the French panel, we used a while back on just a piece of leftover plywood and we did a raised stencil. So we added, I think, either salt wash or the paint frosting and we bladed it on and we did kind of like a, a just wall art with it. And when people saw that, they kind of went nuts. And ever since that video, I can't even remember how long ago that was, we have sold a ton of them. And I sold two of those panels, just basic plywood with a raised stencil. I think I sold them for like Sixty dollars each. Like they looked like an old. Well, relic. they end up looking like plaster art. Yeah, they looked like an old relic. Okay, this is the Christmas tree pitcher. This is big. So that one I love because I love a like an enamel pitcher with a Christmas tree in it. Like it's one of my favorite things to do decoration wise. And so I decided I would make a stencil because I think that would be cute on a pillow. It would actually be really cute on a sweatshirt or the back of a denim jacket for the mm -hmm. holidays. There's a on lot your of options apron, there. the towels that you're doing right now. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm trying to reuse my tape. We'll see if it works. Now these ta these tea towels we have are fun because they've got this red stripe. But you could also do a plain towel and sky's oh, yeah. the limit. You could do drop cloth. I love a good drop. Cloth Jamie project. does drop cloth and does the. Uh, like um, like pillow sh pillow shams out of drop cloth, stencil yeah. drop cloth. What I like to do is to take drop cloth and do the stencil on the drop cloth and then back it with a really fun fabric. All right, this one is not necessarily holiday related, but it's called Farm Life. Another big stencil. These it's are fairly buildable. big elements, but it's like one of those, yeah, it's a buildable stencil. So the, the gate, the fence that's on this stencil is made to like replicate so you can put your barn with your windmill in the background if you want to then make your fence with your chickens in front of it and then your other farm animals kind of on the hills like this one is really cute plus you could use each element individually but it's made to build a scene you know those animals are all going to get used up like crazy i know they're there. so cute we've done lots of farm animal stuff but i've never created a buildable farm animal scene so i'm pretty excited about that this is the key to my heart I want to do raised stencils on these, like like some of these elements. We you could do raised stencils on like a really plain tote, or like a chest or a toolbox, and you know then you've got you don't have to go crazy. You can just raise stencil it, paint it up, do some gold or copper or something metallic on the top of there, and now you've got hardware. I can't believe how detailed. This would actually do better, I think, with a smaller stencil brush. I'm using the big one, but if you guys are ordering the mini Italians, I'm going to tell you, or did I say that right? Mini Italians. Um, get yourself a small stencil brush because there's so much detail. It will be easier with a small stencil brush. Is this folk scroll? Is that your writing there? Folk swag. Swag. Yeah, folk. It's actually folk art swag, but I didn't feel like... Mm. Um, writing that all out. So this is it is a similar to the panel, but it's a swag. So think of it um, like on the middle of the buffet or like an armoire on the top or the bottom of an armoire. This is the size on it, it's pretty big. You or you could make it here. into a border. I think this would be really, it would play really well with that one that we did on the chest. I use, like the very first folk stencils I came out with were the folk, 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 
I can't even say it. Folklorico is like the white way to say it, but folk, I don't wait. Mexican folk art, but it's called Man, you're really struggling. You usually say it so good. I know, but today I can't say it for some reason. And so those are the first folk art stencils we came out with, I think like two or three years ago. This is the one she's talking about. And I've loved these folk art stencils. So I'm excited to come out with some more Swedish inspired designs because I'm seeing that trending a lot. But we've had folk art Honestly, stencils you for could, a good long time. You could plug here. this into the Swedish design, it would work if you use the right coloring. Yeah. And we have, we actually have a few different other ones. So check out the folk stencils. All right. Um, not just the new ones, but the old ones too. So Jamie took me up on my idea. We have the decoupage, uh, cheese, uh, like, uh, labels for the old uh, cheese boxes. Now you've got a stencil with the stencil. You can put them on anything. Well, and the stencil I made a little bit bigger because the rice paper were limited obviously to the A4 size. And so this one I made a little bit bigger so you can use individual elements, but signage is really popular and cheese is like its own food group in the Ray house. So, so I, I wouldn't just put them. this on like a, like a frame and hang it, but I would put it on a tote. I would put it on a box like that. I'd put it on you could like make my it little like an old sign if you wanted to. Yeah. Like I would really put it on my it kindling old. box, you know, make it all crackly and delicious. So we have two different packs of those. We have, this one here, which has got Borden's cheese and Kraft white American cheese. And then we have this one. So this one, oh, which, maybe this is Italian. It says La Toba Senia. It might, it might be Spain, like Spanish. So we might have mixed up some European countries in this. It's fine. All right, I'm going to get to work. All right, here's That's all one. the stencils and all the paper. how cute that is so much detail i love the little windmill on it all right i'm gonna keep stenciling i need to paint um that tote let's see i think i'm gonna use those two there let's see where is my here they are i got so many new products we i know we're dumping on you guys right now we were gonna stagger it out and we're like you know what Jamie's going to California for Debbie's uh, inlay release next week with Iron Orchid Designs. My parents are going to be in town. It's their 50th wedding anniversary. Then we're going to England. Then like... Cal's having a baby. Two weeks after that, we're, we're going to Europe for 11 days. So like, we're like, you know what? Let's just, let's just give them all the goodies. That way they've got them. They can start doing all their holiday crafting now. Well, and while we're in Europe, I'll be working on designs for the January release because we really have to, we start months in advance. A lot of, I take pictures of things and send them to my manufacturer and designer. Be like, okay, save this for the next release because otherwise I'll lose it. All right, so what I like to do, this is just a five by seven. Usually I take the stock art that they put in there with all their branding and I'll just overlay that right over the top of what I need to cut out. And then this is actually it. on the thrift hall. That's for tomorrow. Yeah. I was like, pull that out, pull that out. I uh, bought it specifically for this application. I love these vintage like filigree type frames. And we'll leave whatever we put in it, in it when it gets sold or whatever, delivered, put in the shop. Um, Lisa says I'm in Italy at the moment on holiday. Nice. That's fun. I haven't been to Italy but I have considered it because I speak Spanish at least a little bit. It's been a while. She she picks up on those Latin languages real quick. So I think it would be fun. I feel like I could probably figure out Italian. I can I can read French, but I don't speak it. I need to actually brush up on a few things. I was watching McKenna's in France or was in France and did some blogging. She was going through one of the flea markets we always hit in Paris. And we're like, oh, we've been there. Oh, we've been there. <laughs> it was, and then when it was she was looking fun. at some of the prices, I was like, yep, that's how that flea market is. And it was funny when she went to the lighting store. I've been there. Although I'm kind of sad because she saw a bunch of art that was like 10 euros. I'm like, oh, Zeb and I would have bought 30 of those. We'd have bought everything they had. We would have been like, okay, we're going to take all of these oil paintings and did a bulk bundle deal. But she's also... She, just she doesn't resell. She's just decorating her own house. I, I feel like eventually she would resell. Like she likes to shop. So that's the thing. If you like to shop and you have a, a good eye, I feel like resell is the natural progression of things. I hate painting the inside of cubbies, but I'm going to paint the inside and then I'll dry the outside. 
Actually, you know what? I'm going to just dry the outside and stencil it, and then I'll paint the inside later because you guys are here to see the new product. You don't care about me painting the inside of Cubbies. Let's let's get to getting here. And then, do you want me to paint this little horse that you did so you can stencil the bottom? Yeah, that would be awesome. Okay. Make sure it's so. If you guys remember, a couple weeks ago, I thrifted this little horse because I find animals all the time, and this is like a toy horse. It's resin. Um, but I like, and I don't necessarily love the paint job on it, but I love the detail. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to grab that horse. I'm going to put it on a little piece of scrap wood and we're going to paint it up. We're going to give this kind of a Scandinavian feel with the new stencils. I'm going to stencil around the bottom here and paint the horse to match. I think it'll be fun. Okay. So Caitlin says Italian labels, uh, two are Spanish, one is French, three are Italian. So we'll just call it the predominantly Italian labels. <laughs> Mainland Europe. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to get this dried here. That's going to be cute. This is actually already ready to. So we picked this frame to. up. What was it like? A dollar fifty? Mm, yeah, a dollar fifty or a dollar. So we're gonna get some instant holiday cheer right now and i feel like this print works for fall too it's leaning towards christmas because they're on a holly branch but look how well it took me a long time to actually like i printed this off like six times making sure it would fit in a five by seven i kept telling him like nope you got to shrink it you got to shrink it but look how fun that is and debbie told me um she wanted more birds i see her cut a lot of birds out so if you wanted to ditch the holly you could use these birds all year round yeah, they're super cute. All right, I'm gonna just get these two sides, Zeb, done, then I can stencil those. And then, do you wanna stencil the birdhouse there? Yeah, let me see what we've got that's gonna fit around these pegs. That's the trick. Actually, let me paint this. Oh, you this. know what? What about this one with the individual flower elements? Oh, yeah. See if you can figure out how to make that work. You might have to cut those out and tape them on. Uh, we'll see what I can do. I'm going to paint this frame really fast, though, because I wanted to do another, the five by seven of the deer in this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'll look good. Because look at this, guys. I feel like this is brilliant. Someone, this is a greeting card that someone just framed because they liked it. Getting a lot of things going here. Watch out for the mess coming. All right, that's mostly dry. I'm going to let that. Let's see, is this horse? Okay, so I used a two-part epoxy to glue this on if you guys want to, like, duplicate this. Because this little horse, I bought it for a dollar at the thrift store. Might have been 75 cents. And he's wanted to. We're, we're trying to slowly get through our thrift hoard in the garage. We've been so busy because it's football season. I know we always say we're so busy, but like football season is football extra season special busy out. and we do not skimp on watching our kids play football. So if stuff doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. We went and froze yesterday. Well, froze is... Uh, I froze yesterday. It was windy. Wind chill was bringing it down to like 55 and, and it was sprinkling on us at the game because we're getting to be that time of year where it uh, either rains or it's just cold. So it would have been <laughs> easier to paint before you glued it on. Maybe, but I needed to glue it before you paint it on the feet. Yeah, for sure. So what, all that to say, we have a bunch of thrift flips in the garage we have not gone to. We make sure we get everything that's sold done every week, plus a few new things to put in the shop, but we do have a little bit of a backlog. It's okay. Items. That just means a paint of Palooza is coming your way. That is true, but probably not till we get back from England and France because yeah I feel I always feel like oh that's way out when we buy the tickets and then it rushes up on me and I'm like oh it's time to go get in the plane we've had a <laughs> bunch of new releases for products and then next week I'm going to Debbie's for her new release for her inlay and so just been a little bit crazy busy and then we actually have some like, like tax like business stuff we got to get done so but we always make sure if you buy it and it says we'll be painted we get that stuff done and get mailed out Oh, Zeb, can you fix the camera? We're yeah. on half an hour. So I'm just going to paint this so it looks like it's all one piece. Then I'll heat gun it, and Zeb's going to stencil the base with a border of one, probably one of our 
bulk stencils. Maybe the one that we did on that tote. Yeah. Oh, and mind. then we'll come back later and like dry brush the horse. And I might even hit some of the, like the saddle and things with like a copper or something. We'll see how detailed I get. We're not selling it for a million bucks. So if you're thrift flipping or just doing your own home decor, you can do whatever you want. But we, we also have to factor in like how long, if it takes me an hour to do this and I sell it for $12, you know, I don't even know how much that is. I think it's like 18. I don't know. It's been so long. I think it was like two or three weeks ago. How long is the flight to England? We fly direct is off like. It's usually like nine hours. Yeah, like nine, nine hours. Hour we fly from Salt Lake straight to. We were talking like, you know, if we lived on the East Coast, this would be like five hour flight. Because we have but on had the flip side, we're only about a six and a half hour flight from Hawaii. So, you know, you got to you got to take pick your battles. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Did I get it all oh, this is 20, 20, this frame here. Okay, we got prices on some things. This one was going to be 28 once it got painted in art. Well, because some of them are still from, do I have a okay, hair from my head hanging? There we go. Will you be filming while we're in Europe? Yeah, so now that we're I- We're actually excited. We're going to do a ton of filming. There's going to be a bunch of videos on both channels. Zeb um, used to edit only on his computer um, and- a little bit more of an involved edit and we've got both deb and i have gotten really good about filming less and getting the shots that we want to tell the story so we can actually like edit on the fly like yesterday the video that went up yesterday evening we finished yesterday evening like we finished the project so we can do more real yeah we filming. finished it at like 4 15 we went to watch eliza cheer at a football game came home jamie didn't even start editing until about seven yeah, so and it was up by nine and on the channel. Yeah, so we will definitely be filming and we, we're we going to be booking Airbnbs that have good internet or we'll find an internet cafe to upload in. Mostly like Zeb and I are like 950 years old. So we don't, we don't have like a nightlife when we go to Europe. Our nightlife is like cozying up because it's fall or spring. So well, it's and a lot of the and... places that we're frequenting they're like done. they they close at like three four o'clock, especially on the weekend, like yeah. a Friday, um, or a Saturday, and then a lot of shops aren't even open on Sunday. Like they take their Sunday family day very serious. There might be some delay in those videos getting up. I'll probably try to get a couple videos ahead, so that way I I still want to enjoy myself and not because you can't always predict what's going to happen, right? Like when you're traveling, especially to a foreign country, it's just different. Things are not set up the way they are in the U.S. And so things happen. It's not what you're used to. Oh, Sue got her Mikasa wine and champagne glasses. She's going to use them at the bride and groom's table at her son's wedding. That's awesome. Packaging. I'm That's, so glad that I'm they glad got they there. Arrived alive because, because I broke a couple of those in the thrift store before we even got out of there, just trying to wrap them up in paper. Uh, very delicate. We had a mirror that the, the, the mirror didn't break, but the delicate filigree around the edge broke. I think the customer will definitely be able to like touch it up. We did refund them, but it was so devastating because um, a lot of effort goes into packaging for sure. Holly says she's jealous of 55 degrees. It'll be 95 in South Texas. Well, that's, I mean, we're, we're end of September. By the time we hit mid October, all the leaves will be changing and we are under threat of like freezing whenever randomly. And by Kathy mid November, said, it freezes every night. Kathy said she'd love to have us in England for the holiday season. Maybe when our kids are a little older, we can do that, something like that. Because definitely we have a busy fall season with um, football and cheer and just work is really busy. And so I like to kind of hibernate and slow down December and January, prepare for the new year. And then February, it gets a little busier because we usually will have like wrestling or cheer championships and whatnot. Redrick's going to wrestle again this year. So we won't get a like break it. until like March. With no, sports. I'm not doing seven on seven again. That was fun, but like it just felt like we went from the busy 
winter fall season to we the spent entire spring. Saturdays freezing in spring on a football field. Yeah. Jimmy was complaining last night. She's like, you know what? I wore my my uh, my Carhartt bib that's got the full insulation. I wore it in May at a seven on seven tournament, and now it's September, and I'm back wearing it in September at a football game. So I only got three months. She, off Yeah, she's my like, Carhartt. I only got three months where I didn't have to wear my bibs. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get the folk art panel. Where is that go? Or the slab? All right, I'm going to hurry on this frame. I just want to show you this. This is probably the last one I'm going to do with the decoupage paper. I have a big frame over here if we get time, um, but we really want to show you a bunch of these stencils too. So give me just a sec. I'm going to put another frame, another five by seven in, and then finish this horse and we'll start doing some stuff. Bring my best raincoat. Oh, Lisa, I'm ready. I have a, we used to carry it. They don't make it from the US anymore. It's a Jules, it's a UK brand. My Jules raincoat is my go-to. In fact, mine got paint on it. So before we sold out, I grabbed an extra raincoat out of stock. And that's what I bring with me. I always have like just my basic wardrobe. I don't dress fancy when we go to Europe because we are working. <laughs> um, and then I have like an extra sweater and then my raincoat. And then I always have a few pairs of I mean, wool we're socks. literally diving in and out of flea markets and salvage yards yeah, the whole I, time. <laughs> it's not like a pretty magical event. I just wear normal clothes. But I will definitely bring my raincoat. I don't typically bring rain boots only because they're just bulky. But I will bring, I have like some Birkenstock boots that I bring. And then I bring a pair of tennis shoes. So I have two pairs of shoes depending on what we're doing. All right, I'm going to center this swag on here. Because it's a mirror image, it's actually not too hard to get centered up. All right, I'm just going to quick wet distress on this. Oh, I need a different color. Do we have white, sweetie? Oh, um, there's like a crinoline. Like a, the, that's the crinoline you lightened. I don't know what you used to lighten gold it. gold wax on it, but it's fine. It'll be all right. This tote's going to be cute. I'm just going to do a matching on each side. Carolyn says she's watching the dogs outside through the window. They love fall weather. They're running. If you can see the their dogs, it's, they're running on bit. the pool, getting all wet because it rained last night and the pool cover holds the water. But Rex likes to lay on it because I, I run the hot tub still and it's all warm, like a warm water bed out there. And so he'll just go out there and lay on it all day. <laughs> Where's my dark wax? I thought I just had it out. If you want your stencils to stay better, you can like kind of use painter's tape to hold them in place. Make sure you're offloading your brush. I'm not the best at that. I'm not the neatest stenciler in the world, but I can make things look decently well. Zeb is definitely the more... What? You're a great stenciler. Patient stenciler. What? What? You're bad at stenciling. Which surprises me because stenciling. you're so good at all the other art stuff. Odelia's over here in the corner. She's like, I'm bad at stenciling. <laughs> you can stencil. You choose not to stencil well. It's kind of like me. Like, I know all the things to do, but I'm, like, unlikely to. Especially, like, the larger the design, the more I'm like, okay, I got to just get this on here. So this is going to get pretty moody on me because I didn't clear wax at first. But I'm going to come back with some clear wax, and I'll unmoody it up a little bit. Unmoody. So I actually think this one will pair well with my other stencil. Like you could use both together, even though they're not exactly the same. And this is kind of between a folklorico and a Swedish folk art. You, it could go either way. If you brighten this up, it'd be super fun. I love to use these on clocks. We actually just sold our, you know, the last one we did, the clock with the pink. And I think the Americana, that clock just sold. I think I paid like three dollars for that clock, and we sold it for oh, eighty because I stenciled the one it. One that cute. we we found two of them like that out in the wilds now. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm gonna zip this right back off. We'll probably get some more distressing, but. It's going to get nice and dark. I 
This one has a lot of detail, so I'm trying to find somewhere to put my finger to hold it. I would have to say I'm probably better at stenciling than I am stamping. I can stamp, <laughs> but yeah. You, you have a problem with the shifty stamps. I get shifty with stamps. It's because you have short little T-Rex on And if it's I okay. try, I can be pretty good with stenciling. Okay. Just trying to see if there's anywhere where it was a little light on my stencil. I'm going to distress it so it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so I don't think I'm going to clear wax this, but I am going to come back. Look how cute that is. So this is like a super neutral look, but if you brighten this up, you could do a lot of really fun things with this. I'm not going to stencil the other side on camera just because we have a bunch of stencils to use and I want to move on to another project, but you guys get the idea here. I'll just do the exact same thing on the other side. Are we all out of uh, golden rule wax? What did you ask? Sorry, I was drinking my water and reading comments. That's okay, I found some. Okay, that's got it under control. Trying to figure out what I want to do next. I really, really, really want to use the Swedish Christmas stencil. I'm going to do that on an apron, but I'm going to have to clean up my act here. Because I have some paper if you want to put it down. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, so this is so I dark waxed this. Um, so I went sandy blonde on this white frame, distressed it, dark waxed it, wiped it back, got some more distressing because it's all super fresh. Um, didn't wait for anything to dry or cure really, except for the heat gun on the the paint. And now I've got golden rule, which is like a gold gilding wax. Um, it was weathered wood, so I've used weathered wood and crinoline thus far. Um, Zach, what stencil was that again? So the stencil I just used is the Folk Art Swag on the tote. And I'm going to use Folk Art Christmas next. And then I'm hoping Zeb will do the, um, I'm drawing a blank, the Farm Life stencil, the one that you can build on oh. an apron, because I think that would be cute. But I think it might take you a minute. Because Zeb is very methodical about his layouts which is why I want him to do it. <laughs> okay, you're welcome, Kelly. All right, let's get this. You know who else does art like me? Eliza is in art class and she has, she's having a struggle because she wants it to be perfect and she's just starting out. And, you know, she had to call on her big sis to help her because Odilia is Odilia's a lefty and she's kind of just like a natural artist. She lives in her right brain and she's, she can just do it. Eliza is like me. She's like going to really work at it and make it work for Some her. people are good at art and some people are good at getting a group project done by having their sister help them with their art. It's fine. <laughs> That's all good skills to have. Right, well, I'm what actually... Eliza did is she played into her sister. She's like, you're so good at this. Can you help me? Can you help me do this? And Odilia loves to do art. So she's like, of course I can help you. 10 minutes later, Odilia's drawn like three quarters of the thing. And Eliza's like, hey, I got to do some of this. <laughs> All right, I just want to make sure this is okay. centered. I'm going to tape this on. This is one of our aprons that we have on sale so you can order this apron if you want to create something similar or you have other projects you oh, want to stencil. that's you're just going to go full with yeah, the I'm whole thing yeah i'm just going to go the way it was designed because then i don't have to think about layout but i am going to have to get more um painters tape which i think we have some okay so i want the gold to be a little more subtle on here i'm going to bring this close so you can see once i get the piece of art in here the decoupage paper now some we had one of our retailers ask us and i wish i could remember her name she's like why are you printing on rice paper if you're just going to frame everything? Two reasons. I feel like the rice paper gets us into kind of a more high-end art type paper. It holds the ink really well. We use on these, we use um, archival ink so that it doesn't fade. But 
some people are going to decoupage with these and it's magic to decoupage it just so easy lays flat doesn't take a ton of medium like your decoupage like liquid patina or whatever you're using to put your decoupage on and it just works well so that's that was my answer to her um because we could just print these out on regular paper and frame them renee says she's a lefty and she's not artsy fartsy i think it's just because you haven't done it but yeah you're that is true renee you have done that. That is like 150% the truth because you used to do the pretty punch. Recently, you've been doing the jewel art thingy bobbies, whatever that's called. You're crafty. It's different. Not everybody crafts the same way. Just All got, right. Oh, just got um, called out, Renee. Yeah. So don't, <laughs> don't tell me you're not crafty. You are. Um, Caitlin, can you let Ivy know I found the stencils? I thought I threw out all the little stencils, but I just found them. So I'll take those to the shop. I had to run. That's why we were a few minutes late. I had to run to the shop, grab all the little stencils and bring them here because I thought I had pitched them. All right, let me get to my little white. Odelia, up in the bottom drawer of my desk. Actually, never mind. I think I moved that. Can you find me some scotch tape? Actually, you know what? I'll just use, I got some painter's tape. Nope. Some, oh, we're out of painter's tape. You have, we have zero painter's okay, tape. You got some? Can you find me some? Thank you, sis. This is going to take me a minute because I got to be juicy. On Odelia this doesn't have school today and Jamie's niece Gentry is in town and everybody loves Gentry. And so like Jamie, Nicole, Odelia and Gentry, Nicole is Cooper's mom. They're all going for what we're calling retail therapy. I'm gonna going to not watch the bank DI. account and pretend like I don't care. And, you know, <laughs> I can only imagine the fun that is going to be had. Just the just the ride home from the airport last night like i couldn't get a word in edgewise and it's a silly good time the whole way like these girls are basically yelling talking over each other and laughing and giggling it's it's really quite a thing mary beth's in town too mary beth is a, a adopted sister she's staying with caitlin's so we're gonna see her on sunday so it's gonna be a fun weekend and tomorrow i get to watch my little nephew Jonah play flag football. You know that we're obsessed with all kinds of football. So I'm like, he's playing football. We will be there. All right. Side note, not about football, but stenciling. On these pieces that are like detailed and kind of floating, like this piece right here, when you wash the stencil, make sure you're delicate with those types of things. Because even though this is super thick, that's a very small connection there. So that could rip off. So be careful with that. And when you're stenciling it, kind of stencil, don't swirl it, Stent, pounce around it. So that way you're not pushing up under it because there's not a lot holding down there. Sometimes to get the detail in the stencils the way that we want, our connections get a little bit small. So keep that in mind when you're stenciling. I'm just gonna put it here and that way I can dip back. I don't wanna offload too much because I'm gonna be all day stenciling this. The only thing about fabric is you can't really distress it. I mean, I have distressed it before, but. Willow has a beautiful voice. That's Gentry's little sister. Gentry. They both Gentry, got married this year. Gentry beat Willow in March, got married. And then Willow's like, oh yeah, well, I'm gonna get married in July. Yeah, you know, I had a bunch, had a bunch August, of weddings. August was August. <laughs> My two nieces got married in the same family in the same year, so we, we had to make a couple trips to the valley down in Arizona. Gentry said she used to sing. Well, that's good. I can't sing a tune in a bucket. They both have really gorgeous hair. Gentry's hair is red, and they have really good eyebrows. They're well embrowed. Okay. You girls, you Eliza and Odelia have pretty good eyebrows too. For blondies, especially, like sometimes the, their eyebrows are non existent. You can see my girls. You're brows. welcome. My eyebrows are out of control. <laughs> We're not going to talk about your eyebrows. They're lighter, but there's a lot of them. <laughs> Thank goodness they're lighter because. Oh, like, guys, I'm ready for Christmas now. Look at that. I'm going to town on stenciling. I know. Well, I want to show as many of these as possible because so they're just way more impressive when you see them done. So the little gold picture. made this not so brown. That's cute. It's, it kind of hits in the sunlight. It's hard to see on camera, but done. 
Look at that. Oh, there's some glass somewhere around here for this, I think, too. Um, Maybe not. I can't no, remember. I don't know if there's glass for that one. There is some glass in the window over there, but I think it's smaller. Yeah, we use that for a different frame. But so when you get the when you get the rice paper, this is I can't remember. Caitlin probably remembers what this is called. I think I called it the Oh dear. Uh, no, not oh dear. <laughs> Something dear. If you search up dear, you'll be able to find it. But perfect for five by seven frames. This was matted. This is an eight by ten frame, but it was matted for five by seven, so worked like magic. And just keep that in mind. If you have a bigger frame. It's really easy to map for the five by seven because there's a lot of the like we picked this frame up for probably a buck or two bucks at the thrift store and now look at it. So to clean my stencils, because somebody was asking, um, when I'm using DIY paint, which is water soluble, um, I just put it in the bottom of my sink on a flat surface and then I use my stencil brush that I also have to wash and I use this and swirl it and that's how I get it off. It's really simple. Um, you could use baby wipes, I guess, but I feel like you might be all day with a baby wipe on this, especially if the paint has dried on there, which in, for my case, it pretty much is always dried on there because I'm not super good at cleaning my stuff. If I use the cottage color, then I wash it more like sooner because it has a built in sealer. You, you picked the very biggest stencil. Me? Yeah. Well, sometimes you got it. Sometimes you got to work hard. I mean, this is my job to show people stuff. We've only been live for like 50 minutes, maybe. So Jamie's using, I think that's the three quarter. Is that the half inch stencil brush? So the thing that he just framed, the deer, that's not a stencil. That is a rice paper. Yep. Rice paper just came out today paper. too. So you can like, if you really want to go to town, you can definitely paint your stencils. You can use like, I'm going to steal just That's a, fine. Just a hit You can of this. use this, like paint it in cream, and then come back with an artist brush and almost use it like an outline, like a paint my number, kind of the same way we've done with stamps. Or you can do different colors while you're doing the stenciling. There are different, like a bunch of different ways. I like to keep things simple a lot when I'm stenciling. So I usually do like neutral monochromatic. Style. All right. So I got this little horse here. And I'm just going to take the border around this stencil and go around the edge. All right. I'm two thirds of the way there, maybe. And I'm using the same color Jamie's got. The crinoline. Is this full strength crinoline? I feel like this yeah, is. Yeah, no, this is full strength crinoline. Okay. I, I, I was thinking it was watered down, but it's looking like it's regular crinoline. Not, not watered down, but... Like lightened? Yeah, lightened. <laughs> like I usually don't water down, especially if I'm going to be stenciling. I like it nice and thick because I don't want to do... I didn't tape colors. this down. It went on walkabout. That's okay. I'll distress. Don't stress. I'll stress. We're definitely going to have to make many videos using all these stencils because it's going to take us a while to get through that many. I just... Last year, my dad um, passed away in September and I did not feel like I wasn't in the mood to create. So I didn't come out with Christmas stencils. Um, Mara was designing for us at the time. So we just used the ones that she designed. So this year I wanted to come out with a good amount of Christmas stencils and then also just some everyday stencils. And so we have a lot of designs, but it was time. I know that technically because we run the company I should design at regular intervals and have the exact same amount of stuff, whatever. But it's hard as an artist and a designer. Like I am not an organized person and I just have to design when I feel inspired. Like there's not like a specific number of stencils I go to design each time. When I get started designing, I just throw everything at it that I love. And then once I feel like everything that I want is created, then I'm done. If that's five stencils, if that's 10, if it's 14, it's just the way it is. And Zeb can attest that you can't like force me. To I'm be like, creative. hey, we got a stencil release we need to get out in the next like month. How are you looking? She's like, don't talk to me about designing stuff right now. I'm trying to relax. <laughs> I actually do my best work while I'm getting a pedicure. It, the last craft kit was probably one of our most popular ever. And it was the, it was the brainchild and design work of a one hour pedicure. <laughs> 
So I we have to come up with another craft kit. I was actually, I'll run this by you guys. I can't promise that this is what it's going to be. So don't get mad if we change our mind. Um, but I'm thinking for the next craft kit, what about a um, stocking holder? Because you don't have to use it for stockings. You can also use them for hanging wreaths on shelves or on a mantle. There's a myriad of different things. I thought that might be fun. So I've got to find like a good hook, which I think I found this morning. I might order those to see what they look like. If not, I'm going to have a lot of hooks that I'll be selling for other purposes. And then we'll come up with the design for the stocking holder. So I thought that would be fun. Because I want to, and then if people want to, they could make it for the holidays or they could just make a wreath holder because people use them all the time for that. You can also use them to hang your purses or whatever. Time for another pedicure? Yes. Actually, I just got one for my birthday. Zeb was doing taxes on my birthday, so I took myself to my favorite little pedicure place on Main Street and got a pedicure. And I um, just, I did not work because it was my birthday pedicure. I'm trying to be careful not to go over my edge. I'm almost done, guys. I mean, it seems like it's taking me a long time, but can you imagine if you were hand painting a uh, whatever this is, apron. Okay. Let's see. We're just going to go with that. It doesn't quite fit over the horse. What yeah. kind of scale is behind Zeb? Oh, it's a postal scale. Yeah, it's an old postal scale. It still we works. It's accurate. It. I actually got it zeroed in. We have a scale. I did that randomly while I was waiting for bacon to cook one day. We have a two-sided <laughs> scale at the shop that we picked up in Round Top, but this is the other one we got. So, oh goodness. I'm making... A mess here. Oh, this turned out pretty good. Yeah, it's looking good. Oh. I would pull your paint and then pull the stencil. Pull, pull the tape, you mean? Yeah. I just don't want it. Can you go on the other side? I just don't want it to like fall back on the other side of the. There we go. So I'll let this sit overnight and then I'll heat gun it. That's a really cool apron now, though. Ta -da. Now I'm ready. I actually like with these. I Here, like to stay there them. and I'll zoom in with you wearing it because they can't really see it good. I guess you can see it all right. There we go. I feel like these are bigger than the last aprons that we got. Are they? No? No, that looks like the same size. So now I'm perfectly ready for like my holiday baking. What's happened is you're smaller. Oh, that's what it is. Tell me all the good things before I bake all the treats. Anyways, ta-da! These, I think these aprons are like $4.95. So if you wanted to buy that stencil, you could bust out a bunch of these aprons in an afternoon and they would be really cute with maybe like a cookie recipe or whatever for the holidays. All right, I'm going to put this Can to I dry. get you, I'm going to distress this, but can I get you to dry brushes? Yes. Because you're the, the queen of the dry brush. I, it is true. I am ridiculously good at that. Own it. <laughs> I'm not better than you at a lot of things when it comes to crafting. It is true, but I am a good dry brusher. So if you're just tuning in and you're watching, this is the new uh, fall haul stencil release. And we also threw in uh, cardstock paper, which I'm going to cut a couple of these out so you can see them real quick. Um, and then also, oh, I just had an idea. And yes, you could use your stencil brush to dry brush. It actually works really good because it's flat. So it just hits the high spots. And also all of the uh, the new holiday stencils too. Not all are holiday. Most most are though. Odelia, can you find me? A I would hole say it's punch? half and half. Can you find me a hole punch? I'm actually excited about those postcard ones. We're gonna have to do a waste huh? not Wednesday where we make some ornaments with those. Just a little hole punch, art stuff. Or like I don't think there we have might a be hole one. Punch, there might be one right in this cabinet here. The the old buffet. Oh the yeah, if there was one of those, there. if one of those totes. I don't think you're going to find it over there. I already looked. So these tags are, because they're cardstock, they're nice and stiff and really easy to cut out. Hopefully you guys don't mind the cardstock. Zeb, Zeb was actually going to do them rice paper. I'm like, no, 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 no. Like those, those are better cardstock. They can be decoupaged, especially if you use liquid patina. I got some paint where I don't want it, so I'm going to have to fix that. But I feel like more people would use them. It's cardstock. So you get two of the Christmas trees in the middle, two Santas, or four Santas, and four banjo wreaths. 
I'm just gonna dry brush a little weathered wood over the top of the white to tone it back a little bit. But I think I like it. So there's my horse. This is so cute. You never guess this is like a weird little carousel horse situation. Once it's waxed, it's gonna look really good too. I'll paint this bottom while I got this out. Robin says, oh, I love that. There goes the third order. If you guys order on the same day within 24 hours and you need to combine shipping, just Yay! email info at jamierayvintage.com and Caitlin will help you out. You found them. Um, Saving the just day over With here. stencils, it might be a little bit more complicated because those ship directly from the manufacturer. So just be patient with us, but we'll figure it out. Nancy says, sorry, guys, I got distracted making molds. That's okay. Craft distractions are good. If you need to watch the replay, you can. Thank you, Caitlin. She dropped the link for the email in there. So this is actually an unscheduled live. We don't actually post a video on Fridays right now during this time. So if you guys could share this out, that would be amazing. Also watch our video from yesterday. Yeah. It didn't get a ton of views. and Because we really put it up at 9 o'clock at night. That's yeah. like 11 o'clock East Coast. It was really a fun video. Well, the reason why it didn't go up on time is because we were a little bit delayed on the project, even though we started on Monday because we went and looked at new property because we're under contract for our first property that we bought. So we're buying something else to take that yeah, we're selling, and roll it into. Selling our first right. property we bought that we went and if you guys watch oh, the all Jamie. Blurry. Zeb, can you fix the camera? Oh, that went bad. Oh, um, yeah, we're coming back. It's not you guys, your vision. Yeah, it's not not your not on your end. This is on us. All right, Nicole is on her way. So, okay. So we got to wrap things up. We got to wrap things up. And Eliza's texting me. Can oh. I add money to her debit card? Yes. Okay. Eliza um, texted me this morning. She's like, "Dad, I have an A in math, and I'm so bored. I'm ready to just walk out of here." I'm like, "Well, as long as you got an A, and I don't have to know about it, whatever." <laughs> She needs to stay in class. <laughs> I did tell her that. I'm like, sometimes, you, you need to stay in class and finish. Sometimes you go to school to learn that it's okay to not be constantly entertained. Are you going to hang those from that? I am. Look at these. Oh, well, that's going to be cute. Oh. Thank you, Carolyn. She said she watched last night. What color did I sense on the apron? I used crinoline, which is the same color that we sent in the craft kit. So crinoline pairs really well with those aprons you could use white but i just feel like crinoline's a little bit softer if you wanted to stencil in the cottage color then i would take um white linen and add a little crockery to it to cream it up are you gonna send that with it so that way they can do that with it they yeah they can whoever's gonna get this i mean it was already distressed and i was gonna do a bunch of stenciling but i'm kind of into that Oh, that's so cute. We'll have to like turn it around, you know, like so that way they can ship it. But that's cute. Oh, yeah. Little crisp. And then you could even, oh, we could put some ribbon on it. Yeah, you could put some ribbon. I'll just send some ribbon and they can put it on there if they want it on there. I feel like these tags are cool enough. You could you could put them on like they're, they're cardstock, but you could, you could uh, make ornaments out of these. Yeah, they're so cute. All right, guys. Um, we are gonna head out because I've got some, I have a date for retail therapy with my friend for my birthday that was weeks ago. And Zeb's got a bunch of stuff to get done. If you have any questions, email info at jamierayvintage.com. And if you wanna shop these items that we showed today, visit jamierayvintage.com. And if you could hit that share button, it helps out a ton. Be sure to give us a thumbs up if you liked it. And we'll see you on the next episode. Oh, I didn't get to the big Oh, Santa. and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Bye, you guys. Thanks I'm, for joining us. I'm going to frame this one before I put stuff thanks up. Thanks for uh, supporting our little craft hobby situation. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun to design.